Kafulata. I represent Berniwa Krika Sama Grifede Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Jigao State. Mr. Speaker, I move that the House to dissolve into an executive session to consider issues. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Day is far gone. It's one o'clock. We're going to race through the other paper. Uh, we might skip some things. Uh, we're going to race through very quickly. Um, are there any petitions? Speaker, I'm coming on order six. One, two, three, and order two. Order six, two, and order six, four. That is privilege. Mr. Speaker, my attention was drawn on certain reportage. which is very disturbing and preposterous. Mr. Speaker, if I can recall, this House was in, uh, in an executive session last week, precisely 27th March, on the instance of the leadership of this House to discuss issues on security, which the matter was reported by the Honorable Speaker. But disturbing, Mr. Speaker, on the 29th of March, Honorable Indudi Elimelu, while he was attending the neck meeting of the PDP, issued a statement which is false, which is against Section 17 of the uh, uh, National Legislative Powers and Privileges Act, which negates the principles of Order 6, Rule 1, 2, and 3, that during that executive session, some members of the APC approached him, indicating an interest to join the PDP. That was false. It did not happen. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I'm complaining against this publication. If you check, uh, if ahead. you check, if you check Vanguard, Vanguard of 30th March, the report is there. And they quoted him saying that many APC representatives have indicated interest to join the PDP as a result of security issues that were discussed that morning. We did not discuss that. That was not what was reported by Mr. Speaker. What was reported by Mr. Speaker was clearly documented in our um, votes and proceedings of 28th. Mr. Speaker, that was a breach of my privilege and that was a breach of my right as a member of the PDP and a mem as a member of this House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's a matter of privilege that is not subject to debate. There is no motion that has a, it's just an observation. Uh, if there is a, I think, uh, I think we must, Honorable uh, Sada, uh, you must be aware that, you know, both sides will always play politics. Whether it is true or not is a different thing. If there is any member of APC here that intends to go to PDP, can you please rise? Very well. Over and over and over again. And I think what the minority leader did there, sir, is a complete misrepresentation of what happened at the executive session. What he reported to the next meeting was that there was a very robust discussion about security, which is a fact, but that in the course of expression of members, there was this desire, and many have gone to the head. There was never a time such expression was done. What we, dis what we discuss here, which is within our own uh, uh, law, was, deliberate, was de done with all sense of patriotism in terms of what is happening in our nation. And for him even to go out to report, Mr. Speaker, it's confidential matter. You know the meaning of executive session. He couldn't have gone there to report that one. 
And Mr. Speaker, I want to say that. There is a kind of a false uh, platform that I'm seeing. Because after that meeting, sir, PDP caucus of those two chambers went and had another discussion, a kind of build up on the security situation. And I think, Mr. Speaker, we need to be serious. I say we need to be serious. I see somebody as a baby who is the leader in the Senate championing that, yes, there are many flaws. He bail Kanu Namdi. During the answers, we knew what happened. He was the one, Kan Kanu Namdi was the one who was the head of the Allow this man to go as a position person, and that's why they could send everything back to the face. I'm the presiding officer. I, I, I wish to be neutral. But it's not true. I think there's a need for us to be able to sustain the point of order. It's not about the position. If you are going to go to the position, two positions. That is right. Give us factual things and also be part of the solution problem. Mr. Speaker, respected colleagues, I, 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 I think our prison has been breached. There was completely wrong information, and it's deliberate. And that's why I'm citing the issue of what I've seen the military leader in the Senate have done. With all of them sitting behind him, ordinarily, ordinarily, for failing to produce Kanye Namdi, he should be in prison, just like the, 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 the was taken to prison. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I would, I would just share people point of view. It was a privilege. Mr. Speaker, I come under privilege. The man that is his mention is my senator. There's a judicial decision on this. Are we trying to arrogate ourselves judicial powers as to when you can produce someone who you on bail? It was canvassed up to appeal. Is there an offense to bail somebody? If you bail somebody, you produce him subject to there's no interference. The last contact the man in question had was with the military. The senator to bail, the man was coming to court regularly. The senator didn't default. He was called to show cause, and he showed cause successfully. Why is it a point of reference in the parliament? That's a breach of my privilege. Right. That's my senator. We shouldn't canvass there. He's here. Except we are now trying to see the appellate court by interfering with the judiciary. The matter went on a full whole court with the judiciary. We are aware of that. We should take judicial notice of that. He was asked to show cause, and he did show cause. And then I was producing this man when there was no interference. We should ask the military, why did they keep him? So for we to come here now to make allusion to that, it's not proper. We should do things that will get us peace. Uh, yeah. Our problem now is security. You are trying to see how Thank to you. your security. Thank you. But I think the deputy speaker, uh, I think the point that we need to, honorable colleagues, the point that we need to make and understand, uh, we have all, we are all working together to build this nation. And that's why we have this up there. Uh, nation building is a joint task between all of us, amongst all of us, whether whatever party, whatever tribe, whatever religion, we only have one country. Uh, so we should not... In, in doing that, we should be mindful whilst we play our role as the ruling party, or we play our role as the opposition, we should be focused on, on the non-disintegration of bringing down the country and be mindful in our speeches and in our utterances. Uh, there's freedom of speech, uh, but freedom of speech also has to be, your freedom to speak has to be measured. I think that's the point that was being made. And the point, the, 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 the bigger point was that we had an executive session, and, and it's traditional in Parliament to have ex executive sessions. When you have executive sessions, you clear the chambers, you clear the gallery, everybody leaves, microphones, everything is up because we want to talk to each other as a body. And whatever transpires in the executive session, sometimes we see it on the pages of the papers, and we always wonder, how did this get leaked? How did that get leaked? Um, and I think the point that he was saying was that we shouldn't get carried away because we're in a party caucus and reveal 
whatever was discussed in even even without revealing the names of who said what and who didn't say what it is still a revelation of what transpired whether uh, behind closed doors or whatever but it was still in executive session uh, otherwise members will not be able to open up and discuss uh, when they come to executive session uh, so uh, let's put this matter to rest let's you know on either side both sides ruling party opposition let us all work together to to move this country forward and let not partisan politics uh, come between us or have a role in the direction we're going as a country uh, we have a security summit coming up in a, in a few days uh, the members comprise of both PDP labor APC and that's the spirit I think we should we should carry on. Uh, uh, so I think um, let, let's just put this 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 baby to rest now. Thank you.